thank you all for being here for Bob. Um, I started to go through some of his things, and you know, he loved some. Some of you may know this; a lot of you may not. But he loved to just kind of write, write prose. He'd just, he'd just write yeah. things that were. And I'd find these notes all over the place. Well, I found this one in his Bible down here. I'm sure I'll find a lot more up north. It's uh, called Our Lives. Eight grandchildren have left the nest. Over the years, each one was the best. Their parents are content to be free, and grandma and grandpa really feel blessed. We love to share their highs and lows for advice and counsel, we suppose. They're smart and frugal beyond compare, but if they need help, we'll be there. Now the next generation has begun, and we've got two of those here today. And when he wrote this, it was six grandchildren. Six, six great grandkids, and boy, what fun. I've got to tell you this. Right now, we have 11 grandchildren with one on the way. It's, it, he loved his kids. He loved his grandkids. He loved his great grandkids. Someday, from heaven's beautiful gate, we'll look down and say, wasn't it great? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Uh, my, I'm Brad, uh, the middle son, and uh, my dad didn't live a good life, he lived a great life. He was spending his life with a woman that loved him very much. The mic's not working. No, Bradley's timid. <laughs> Usually I have a booming voice that uh, sounds really loud to me anyway. Um, but they got to uh, spend a lot of time traveling the world. And uh, I even used to like to say that they were homeless at one time. They lived in their RV all over the place. Um, I'm going to miss them. He was tired in the last few days, in the last few months, but he hung in there and was tough, a lot of tough, and, but he was, I think he, like Sean said, he was ready to go, he knew it was better, and I just want to thank you all for coming, it's an incredible turnout, and thank you for being his friends, and thank you for spending the time to come here today. Jackie, um, I always, whenever I get, came here, arrived, I should say, and I would see Bob, um, he never ever rode by without stopping to give me a hug and a kiss and a big smile, hello, and I always look forward to that, and thank God I got to see him came over and saw him a couple days before he passed and I got the same big hug and smile and that was very rewarding um, yeah we're gonna miss them but we still have Jackie <laughs> you guys know when we all get to heaven ready that guy does it's the only one no the one that went like this yeah Sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place. You can do this. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Hey, you did pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. Let me pray for you. And then uh, y'all come and hang out with this family and love on them. That's what this thing's really about. They're the ones getting left behind when someone else goes to a much better place.
Let's pray. God, we thank you for this day that we can celebrate. We thank you for the fact that you met Bob and walked him across that line. That at no time in our lives are we ever, ever without you. When our lives extend past here and our smile continues to go on, that you're the one we're with. Thanks for taking care of him. We just lean on the fact that you're going to take care of us. Let us draw, let, your, let, let this family draw from your strength, your courage, your wisdom. Remind them each and every day in sunsets, in wind, in rain, bright days, dull days, that you're still the God of the universe. And you got this whole thing taken care of. Help us trust you every day. In your name we pray. Amen. Yes, you may. Jackie would like to introduce her family. She's finally going to get Greg to stand up. <laughs> okay. Um, Bob's older brother, Bill. Stand up. And, you? <laughs> and his wife, Mary. They're from Michigan, and they spend summer here in the Bradenton area. Summer here. <laughs> Winter here in the Bradenton area. Okay. Middle son, Brad, and youngest son, Greg, and Greg's wife, Jan. <laughs> and um, Greg and Jan's, two, two of Greg and Jan's children are here. Ross, stand up, stand up honey. <laughs> and his son, Evan, 10 years old, and Melissa, Greg is holding his granddaughter, Carter, and she left a five-month-old at home, a little boy. That's how we happen to have 11 great-grandchildren. It's amazing. This is a beautiful family. Many of you know me, and you know that um, this is one of the greatest gifts that Bob ever could give me, is this family. And um, I cherish them, love them forever and ever for both of us. Don't leave without giving me a hug. You haven't already. Thank you, Pastor Sean.